What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on NEO ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company higher. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point and I've told you that we are not out of the woods and I've told you that if we won't hold this line of about $39.24, this support line, we might hit our next accumulation level of $37.93 and even a golden pocket. The range in between 0.65 and 0.618. And as you can see we hit this range and from this point we had a good bounce and uh, from this level we are up for about uh, uh, 9%, 9.5% to our current price and the highest point was at around 13.25%. So very good bounce and with a huge volume and uh, this might be a very good bullish sign. But also we broke uh, this previous bottom and this means uh, we invalidate this move as our motive wave and uh, technically I don't think that uh, I can count any type of uh, these ranges but uh, I will show you my technical analysis in just several minutes and for now let's continue with the fundamental news. First of all let's start with the company profile. For those of you who don't know, NEO Designs develops manufactures and sells smart electric vehicles in China and in Norway. And they are about to start uh, their sales in uh, Germany and Netherlands. And for now this company has a total market cap of $61.49 billion. And I have to say that uh, this is the most undervalued company among all of the EV manufacturers on the market right now. And uh, they are about uh, to produce uh, roughly 90,000 uh, vehicles uh, in 2021. And uh, despite of these huge deliveries, they have a total market cap of only $61.49 billion. And you can compare it with the total market cap of, for example, Rivian or even Lucid. And you will see that this company is undervalued. So, let's continue. They have a revenue of $5.10 billion. They have very good revenue growth of 163.75%. They have losses of $1.53 billion. And they have a total cash position of $6.73 billion. But this number is a little bit outdated. And let me show you this news. We are on cnvpast.com and this article was published on November the 20th and it's titled NEO completes at the market share offering rises about $2 billion. And let me quote you this. This is uh, higher than the $1.8 billion raised by Xpeng in its Hong Kong listing and the $1.5 billion raised by Li Otto in Hong Kong. And let me show you their official announcement. NEO today announced uh, that it has completed its previously announced at the market offering of American depository shares ADSs, each representing one Class A ordinary share of the company. Through the at the market offering, the company has sold more than 53.92 million ADSs and raised gross proceeds of $2 billion before deducting commissions paid to the distribution agents of approximately $26 million and certain offering expenses. And the company currently plans to use uh, the net proceeds from the at the market offering to further straighten its balance sheet uh, as well as for general corporate purposes. And I have to say that uh, because uh, this at the market offering was previously announced, we don't have uh, major sell-off right here on November 19th we have only movement to the upside and this means uh, it uh, doesn't affect uh, in a negative manner the price of NEO and uh, I have to say it is very strong bullish sign. So let's continue with this number. This recent news means that uh, their total cash position is uh, about uh, 8.7 billion dollars and it is a very very strong cash position and I have to say that uh, this company is uh, very strong financially and they have very good uh, business achievements uh, during past couple of uh, years. So let's continue with this news. We are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on November 18th and it's titled Apple might build an autonomous car. Who gets the call to be a partner? And le let me quote you this. 
The general consensus on uh, the initiative uh, is that Apple will seek out a manufacturer partner. But who? Whitbush Securities uh, thinks uh, Apple is very likely to announce a strategic partnership next year that lays uh, out the groundwork needed to enter the autonomous vehicle space. And among the list of uh, its uh, potential partners, uh, we have even a new right here. And uh, for now, this article stated that uh, the Apple autonomous car news sent shares of many auto stocks uh, a bit lower after they were already in negative territory. And I don't think that uh, this news might negatively affect the entire EV market. Uh, on the one hand, yes, it is a huge competitor on this uh, industry. But uh, on the other hand, we won't see their first autonomous vehicles until uh, the late uh, 2025. And this point is far, far ahead in the future. This means it is just uh, some uh, kind of fluctuations on this market. And this means uh, I don't think that uh, we might uh, worry about it. So, and let's continue with other news. On cnvpass.com we have a lot of news related to NEO and let me just uh, give you a sneak peek on uh, the titles of this news. NEO completes relocation of swap station that faced demolition. And it is good news uh, and I covered uh, these, this demolition just several videos ago and for now all the problems are settled. And next one. NEO's 150 kilowatt hour pack supplier could be Goshen High Tech. And this 150 kilowatt hour battery is uh, one of the biggest on the market and uh, this will lead not only for the huge range of uh, their cars but also for a great performance. And I think we will see their ET7 with this uh, type of batteries and ET7 will be one of the fastest cars in the world, I think. So, and uh, right here you can see that uh, formal reservations of new ET7 expected to open in mid-January. And this is also very bullish news for the entire company. So, and let me show you the forecast. Right here you can find that Deutsche Bank updates catalyst call on NIO, says investor sentiment should be close to bottoming. And this company reiterated a buy rating on NIO and uh, set a price target of $70. And let me show you that we still have a very good uh, forecast uh, from t -Pranks. So we have 8 ratings, 7 of them suggest to buy, 1 suggest to hold and uh, 0 suggest to sell. And all of the price targets are higher than our current level. Even the lowest price target is $45 and the highest is uh, $70. And to the average price we have about 37.7% uh, upside potential for this sticker. And uh, I think uh, we are more bullish than bearish and that's why let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, I think uh, we cannot count uh, this as our motive wave because we broke uh, this previous bottom. This means we cannot retrace uh, this movement to the upside for more than 100%. But at the same time, we have clear structure right here as ABC correction. And uh, this correction might be right after the impulsive movement. So, I think uh, we can count uh, the entire movement from this bottom to this top as our one wave structure. And uh, it's uh, quite messy, this uh, price section during uh, the entire November. And uh, this means uh, we can uh, clean the chart a little bit. We don't need unnecessary tools, several unnecessary tools. And that's why we can project some new targets. So, to project targets, I pull the Fibonacci extension tool from the bottom of entire movement to the top of this movement and to the bottom of the retracement. And so far we have this as our lowest point at the price point of about uh, 40, $37.46. And if it is the first initial movement to the upside, we have to land uh, the top of our third wave. And uh, the most probable level of extension in the third wave is 1.618 extension level. And as you can see, we have the range of $55.33, again, as our confluence level with this previous top. And it is a very, very good uh, level where we might land our next wave. So from our current price, uh, we might have about, uh, let me show it to you, about 32% to this range. And if you want to enter the position, just start to accumulate these shares on every daily red candle. And as long as this pivot holds of 37.46, we have a very good chances to hit uh, this target of about 55.33%. So I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. 
If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!